also, let me just show them to you. There's a giant boy, if you follow the palm tree up, the palm tree has fronds that go to the right that touch the ficus. He's where the fronds are touching the ficus. I see him. He's really big, and if I think if I step over a few feet, that those branches will be behind his head as a backstop. Let me just check and make sure I got shots in here. Good. Or see him from right here. See him right here. I lost him. I got him right here. I got the backstop right here. Hang on. Let's see where this guy goes. You know I'm gonna shoot the iguana? I'm gonna shoot an iguana. Okay. okay. No, no, it's gonna be quiet. Okay. Ready? Try just above him. Oh. That's the shot we took there. Got him right in front of the ear. And we're going to go put another one right in the top of his head just to be sure. That's what I call a fishing. Woo. You got him. Yo, nice. do, yeah. He probably doesn't need that last shot that we're just going to be in. Hey. All right, we just spotted an iguana on the roof here, about to walk around the back, but Jermaine saw it. We got a good tree in the background. I'm gonna take a step to the right. Shooting on the second power, about 15 yards away. Oh. Very dead, just fell on the ground. He's shaking. Let's go find another one. Got you, Igora. Whew, target has been dispatched. <laughs> She's in the room. Satellite ditch. Stung him. Got you iguana. Stung him. Got him That's hanging how you over do the side. It. I mean, with the quickness. Any more? That shot was about 12 yards. We're pretty close. I feel like they had that poop in here at it. This fence should help them. It's a good iguana proof fence. Let's go get our uh, two iguanas and we'll be back tomorrow to make sure that we got them all. Got you, iguana. It went right above it. <laughs> Look at the damage that sniper does, man. The exit pellet's so much stronger than um the exit wounds significantly bigger than what we get off of our uh, concept light. That looks suspicious. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah.
Oh, I feel stupid. Oh, he's huge. Oh, he's big enough. Also, right there behind the ear, I'm getting a little more used to the sniper. Uh, it's shooting right on point. I'm just wiggling, to be honest, because I could see that where I was pointing is where it hit. So, um, yeah, getting these boys out of here with the new XR definitely has more foot pounds and a lot more power. The accuracy is there like we expected. All right, we got an iguana right here in the tree. He's straight up the trunk. I could see a little window through the leaves with his head. Even though there's traffic, we have the perfect trunk in the background. We even can center the iguana in the trunk right about here. Oh, no. He's coming down. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, no idea. Uh, Like a piñata? Like a piñata. Good thing I'm not a baseball player. Got you, Iguana. And yeah, those bottom jaw shots don't count, huh? Okay, we're at a new spot. Um, these people bought this house um, less than a week ago, and it has a shed in the back, and it is infested with spiny tails, large spiny tails. The uh, previous owner neglected to mention that he had such a spiny tail problem that he built little fencing pieces to try to keep the iguanas from getting on the house from the shed, but it's really more like a ladder. So we're just going to go ahead and catch the spiny tails and get them out of here for this lady. at a house that's infested with spiny tails. Here he is, here he is. 25 yards. Flipped in. Let's go grab him. Whew, look at the wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Still trying to bite. Yeah, they're Still trying to bite. Going over here. Let's check our shot. Got him right behind the ear. Put him down. So you just down it? That's the big boy they were worried about. Now. Man, these black Mexican spiny tips or something else. Oh! All right, we got dog parking behind us. We got this water right here. We've been waiting for certain boats to move, so we have a nice clear shot. We have one going on the left. Sitting right there in the boat. Just fell over the side. We gotta move fast. I might not have just loaded a pellet. Let me see, it felt empty. I'm out of shot. Oh. That's an empty shot. Oh. Oh. All right, here we go. We're going to take this other iguana out. The uh, pole, um, the piling, is in a perfect spot for a backstop. I'm also shooting downward. We're on a raised elevation. 
shoot into a wind. Laid him down. Got you, Iguana? Laid him so, down. That's the Reaper at work. That's the new Sniper XR. Shooting the Range Masters we just loaded right there. I wonder if we should just get double the tap. You think? Yeah. Just oh, right up his back. Here we go. I got a good backstop right here. We had it. There you go. No more scurrying. The pellet just came back and just hit me. And it's right here. Holy cow. Yeah, it hit me sure. right here. It had no force. It felt like if I did that and hit you with it. <laughs> wow. I guess that won't be ricocheting off anything and tearing off a part of a house. I included this video to illustrate what low power we shoot on and that our ricocheted bullets are not doing damage to anything whenever they hit them, if they hit anything. So I'm gonna bring the gun with me. I'm gonna turn it all the way down. It's not live. Where's my pellet that I threw at you? That's a big one of shit I was about to pick up. Come on, man. I don't want my pellet. I was gonna keep it. Got him! I got him! I got him! He is hitting that wiggle. He was trying to get in that hole. ladder is on the other side if we want to take a peek at it. That was a monster male spiny tail. Nice shot. That was only on the second power. He was only about 15, maybe 16 yards away. It seemed like that was only two seconds from the time you walked up, saw him, and the pellet was flying. Got that big boy, y'all. Uh. Got you spiny tail. And Rick didn't fall apart yet. All right. right out of the way. Big boy coming down. And we've got one in the trap too. The green Let's iguana in the trap. Let's take him first. So y'all can see that these iguanas go right here in the soffit. When they go in the soffit, they end up in the attic and they can hear them inside the house. They have both greens and spinies. This is not very common. Usually it's one or the other, but this house uh, is in the mecca of both, so they get they have both. Got you, spiny tail. He's quick, but he wasn't quick enough. Not quick enough, buddy. Okay, we got a, a decent sized female right up here on the branch. She's pretty uh, vertical on us, probably about 15, 16 yards. Shooting on the second power. Trying to cut through this wind. Pretty strong wind right to left. I am gonna compensate slightly for it. So I went about a half dot, mill dot to the right um, because of the strong wind gusts I was getting there. Go ahead and cut that. Big and acid ones. What are y'all doing? Okay, get behind my right shoulder. Straight up. What we got going on? About 20, 23 yards, something like that. Yeah. Straight up in the tree. I'm sorry, I thought I saw a second one. He's right here. It's a big boy. He's looking right yeah, at Yeah, I'm me. looking at him. I'm gonna shoot on the second setting. No, I'm not. I'm moving into the third. This is a big boy.
was like a perfect shot. He, he's I hanging. Can't he didn't fall. He's oh. hanging. Oh, you know oh. how they do it with the leg. Oh. I like his car. Okay, wait, wait, let's just give him a second. He's leaking. Yeah. Okay. That was like a really good shot. Wasn't there two? Yeah. No, I thought I saw a second one. We thought we saw a second one. I thought I saw a second you one as well. Too? Yeah, that's why I was asking it, trying to see if I was mistaken. Damn, he just arched up there. We'll wait a minute, see if he falls. If he doesn't fall, we'll take a shot at his body, see if it'll wiggle down. If you wait too long to take the body shot, the nerves are dead and it won't react. You're just shooting a dead body. All right, we're gonna shoot uh, this dead iguana. You can see it's dead up there with an arched back. I'm gonna shoot it around the pelvis, see if we can knock it out the tree. I hit it right in the pelvis. It's very dead, it didn't even do anything. Oh. Hit it in the pelvis again. I'm gonna try one more time. Just tag. He's just stuck up there. Still stuck up there. Here's a headshot. Nice. Oh my God! It's right behind his eye. Yeah. Yeah. He just isn't coming down. Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh oh! Here he comes. He's, he landed on he landed on another branch on the way down. Oh. He got caught right here. Look at him hanging over the side. Oh, we can get that. Yeah. You just knock him out with the pole. Okay, cool. Clingy iguana. Really? My yeah, our boy out the tree real quick. Spotted a pretty good size one. Let me put the lid on. There we go. Range Masters, 18 grain. I'll put them on the side. He is looking at me. Right there. I don't know where his branch came from. It wasn't in my face a second ago. It is about 80 degrees up to the top branch. How much of it is exposed? Branch, probably, uh, I think he's probably 30 yards away. Good, good job. And uh, he's on a horizontal branch facing to the left. He, 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 Two iguana, he's right there. Single shot. We've uh, tuned the air rifle recently. Took a few shots at an orange cone, and uh, it was an excellent pellet trap. We should show you all the pellets. Actually, um, I was shooting on the third power with the 18 grains. It's almost exactly around 40 foot pounds, is my understanding. Um, and you can see it just knocked him out. Real humane shot. We're gonna go over there and retrieve him and show you all the shot and probably a photo. I think it's a girl, by the way. Note how fat that belly is. The girls are super large. This that last time. one I was calling a boy was also a girl. She was huge. We're gonna try to cut her open a minute and get a, a egg count for y'all. What? We have a big boy walking right here. He just walked up the tree while I was trying to wrap it. The main man got the gun for me. Really a serious, serious looking at him. Twenty yards. Oh, I moved. Licked him. 
Dropped him. Yeah, that should have been it. It was like right He's at down. the eye. Man, that first shot up pulled up and just pulled us too. Got him on that one. Give him a second. The tail's shaking. See if you can knock him down. Oh, just hit him again. He's out. Yeah. I'm gonna, uh, where should I hit him? I'm gonna hit him around the shoulder. Yeah, he's out. That that shot had put him out, but now he's just that, Yeah, there. it was a head shot. Well, he'll come down in the next couple days. We'll be able to grab him. But he was a good one. Got you, Iguana. We gotta get that slingshot. Yeah. Okay guys, I'm out here looking for iguanas. These are the last few stragglers at this place. Even the maintenance people say they never see iguanas here now. Um, but we've been able to find a, a couple. I think we got three here today. And so, uh, yeah, we just spotted this guy up here on the branch. He actually is straddling the branch with like his hind legs hanging over the branch, kind of like, like a squirrel will do when they're being lazy. It's kind of funny to me. I, I rarely see the iguanas do that, but I know they do have that behavior. So, um, well, we, he's about to find out what laziness is going to get him. I didn't think about it. I might be out of balance. This is like my last shot right here. This better make a count. Let's see. Oh. Got you a one. Got him. Hanging down. One pellet. Let's see if I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. That was an empty He's yard. crawling around. Oh, he's oh, about to come down. Oh, he's upside him. down. Oh, boy. He's trying to hang up. Let's see if I'm holding the pellets. You can have any pellets in your pocket, just like one. All right, guys, we just hit this female. Um, perfect head shot. She was hanging for a minute, but she pulled herself back up on the branch. So she's um now kind of at the tip. I'm just going to try to have to take a shot. She's really only about 17 yards away, probably. We have a wind coming straight at us, probably at least 10 to 15 miles per hour. I actually can't see her head. I can only see her shoulders. There we go. So, she's not gonna climb back up now. And hopefully she'll come down. We just shot an orange male over here. These branches really catch the iguanas. It's springtime. The greenery's coming in thicker than ever. Trees and Blooms. There she is. Got you a iguana. Yeah, oh, yeah, all the pollen. All right, guys, we just want to show you the four iguanas we got here. We have a fifth one still stuck in the tree that was a big boy. We did get some pretty good shot placement on these guys. This is the one that we shot from below and it actually came out the top of the head This was, that was at the top of the tree. This is the actual shot placement on this guy right here. And then um, the second shot actually blew out his eye. And then this one was trying to get him out the tree. And then this is after he came down, but this is the shot on this iguana here that put it out. Nice. And then um, normally hitting him in front of the eye is not enough. But if you're coming at the right angle, you're still going through the back of the head. So you can see it exited the eye. So I, I did do enough damage to the brain here to knock her out. Um, this one, I wasn't happy with the shot placement. I hit it right here around the neck, which did end up paralyzing it. And then I was able to get a second shot. You can see went through this uh, large scale. And that one did go in the head and brought this iguana down. Um, but the bodies aren't full of shots. These body shots are purposely done. See how they're clustered? Um, that was to get the iguana to fall. So um, they're all full of eggs. You can see the lumps of the eggs. These are eggy, eggy iguanas. This girl probably has a ridiculous number of eggs in her. All of them were girls. Even though I said boy a couple times, I was just assuming by size they were boys. They absolutely are not. These are huge females that are about to drop tons of eggs because we're in egg season. We're at the end of March. This is our MTC optics find uh, range finder, um, accurate up to one yard, and um, definitely helped us out with being able to give y'all more accurate estimates on where the uh, iguanas are. And of course, the Sniper XR Magnum took them out. 
We were shooting the Range Masters 18 grain, and we also shot some uh, 14 grain um, Crossmans out of them, hollow point. Um, the Crossmans definitely don't maintain the power that the uh, Range Masters do, and you can uh, see it whenever you hit the Iguanas, but uh, still a great amount of power behind it because of the Magnum having an, uh, so much more power and the regulation. Lastly, we want to point out, this is our tree wrap. I don't know if you noticed, but we have wrapped this tree here, and Iguanas struggle to climb up it because it's slick and it is pretty rigid. It lasts usually eight months to a year. It's called Iguana Shield, and we are um, installing it around uh, the trees at these parks to um, help them keep the iguanas out now that we've removed the majority of them. And to keep it looking beautiful. Keep it looking beautiful. Lastly, I also want to show you all the reason we were hired here is because the iguanas were eating whole patches of the uh, football field to the point to where it died. And so uh, people were struggling to play on the field. The kids were getting all muddy. And they said the kids were getting covered in iguana poop when they would play in the field and get tackled and stuff. And people didn't want their kids playing soccer and football and coming up with green streaks of iguana poo all over their jerseys. Wonder why. So um, you can see they've actually pulled up all the grass here and they're about to resod this field. It is a huge investment for the city. And um, so they're super happy about the iguana removal that's gone on here and the results they've gotten. And now they're confident they can put in some fresh quality grass that is uh, arid resistant. Because I think they're worried about having drought stuff. But um, yeah, I think they were talking about putting in Bermuda. Nice. So hopefully uh, we got enough iguanas to where their grass will last and they will be able to have a successful football season. Mm -hmm.